please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Berkeley DB is a high performance, embedded database library that provides data storage and retrieval capabilities for applications. One of its key features is its ability to handle concurrency, allowing multiple threads or processes to access the database simultaneously while maintaining data integrity. In this tutorial, we will explore the basics of Berkeley DB concurrency and provide code examples in Python using the BSDDB3 library. Before you begin, make sure you have the following. Python installed on your system. The BSDDB3 library, which provides Python bindings for Berkeley DB. You can install it using pip. Berkeley DB provides various mechanisms to handle concurrency, including transaction management, locking, and isolation levels. Let's dive into each of these concepts. A transaction is a sequence of one or more database operations that are treated as a single unit of work. Transactions provide ACID, atomicity, consistency, isolation, durability, properties to ensure data consistency and integrity. Berkeley DB uses locking to manage concurrent access to data. Locks can be applied at different levels, such as record level locks or page level locks, depending on your requirements. Locks prevent multiple transactions from simultaneously modifying the same data. Isolation levels determine how transactions interact with each other. Berkeley DB supports various isolation levels, including Serializable, the highest level of isolation. It ensures that no other transaction can access data that is currently being modified by another transaction. Read Committed, transactions can read data that has been committed by other transactions but cannot read uncommitted changes. Read Uncommitted, transactions can read data that is currently being modified by other transactions, potentially leading to inconsistent reads. In this code example, we'll create a simple Python program that demonstrates Berkeley DB concurrency using transactions. We'll create a database and perform read and write operations within multiple transactions. In this example, remember that this is a simplified example. In a real world scenario, you would need to handle error cases, manage transactions more effectively, and potentially configure locking and isolation levels according to your application's requirements. Berkeley DB's concurrency features, including transactions, locking, and isolation levels, enable you to build robust and concurrent database applications. In this tutorial, you learn the basics of handling concurrency in Berkeley DB and saw a simple Python example. You can explore further by referring to the Berkeley DB documentation and adapting these concepts to your specific application needs. Chat GPT